Yo, what is good, peasants? My name is JB. Welcome back to JB Love Sports and the next episode of Panthers franchise. This week we are taking on the four and ten Detroit Lions, who somehow have a better record than us. That's just about the most Panthers thing I could possibly think of. Yeah, it's uh, it's just, just it, it is what it is at this point. I mean, we suck, they suck. It's a battle of suck. Uh, they do have Amon Ross St. Brown, who is one of the better young receivers in the league, having a great year, just under a thousand yards and nine touchdowns. Uh, I mean, they look, you know, pretty on par with us. They have way more passing touchdowns, though, so Jared Goff slinging the thing and uh, Baker Mayfield, not exactly. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot to take care of in the pregame process. We'll go ahead and just hop right into the weekly strategy. Against Goff, uh, I mean, he seems to be doing a lot of his work in the short range it would appear let's uh see if that actually looks true mm. yeah no he actually does a lot of it yeah we'll, we'll defend medium pass makes a lot of assists for the receivers as well i actually is jameson williams playing jameson williams may or may not be playing we'll find out but yeah they don't have a great down the field deep threat so not too terrified of that and against them on offense mm, I mean, probably just, yeah, probably just short pass. We'll just, we'll just stick with that. It, it's working. It's what we do. Can't really throw it down the field. Can't really do a lot of anything. We'll just do what uh, seems to be working. Yep, we'll just do that. And as always, we will uh, just do our usual weekly game plan of two passing touchdowns, 15 first downs. 300 offensive yards and we can you know we'll we'll go for 20 points or less against the lions shortly right if there was any team we could actually hold to a respectable point total to be the lions actually their offense is pretty good the thing with the lions is like both sides of the ball look decent week to week it's just never on the same week like their offense will look great and then their defense will give up a million points and then the next week it'll be the exact opposite so I don't know, maybe this week it'll be a bad offensive week for him. But although in game, Jared Goff does have 33 touchdowns through 16 games. So throwing about two a game. That is a uh, quick math for you. Got some upgrades. One for Henry Anderson. Huge upgrade. Huge upgrade. I mean, he actually isn't started right now because of Derek Brown's injury. Um, but we'll go ahead and give you guys a look at what I've been spending my staff points on. Not that I'm sure you guys care, but... I uh, got most of the player growth thing done. I'm, you know, saving up for these. Obviously, you're going to have to work on that. Uh, staff modifications, we can get uh, an additional focus player, but might as well just save that for next year because there's no one I'm dying to uh, give an extra spot towards. Haven't really worked any on anything on the offensive coordinator side of things. Um, that'll come next season. Same thing with the defensive coordinator. Been focusing on player personnel a lot recently. Trying to uh, up our, uh, you know, the value of our trades and up you know just get better at trading we can you know now trade for cpu picks and our picks are now more valuable so yeah starting to get in position to maneuver up and down the draft board as needed because taking a look at the draft class might as well since this is going to be a pretty short intro might as well uh, hop on in and just see if we know anything about anyone anyone changed do we know anymore i would assume not oh we know this guy he's a i know we knew that guy he was always undrafted but yeah, there are, you know, a few guys we want towards the top of the draft, so. Ooh, Lamar Browning actually dropping a little. That's beautiful. That's what we like to see. Yeah, keep keep dropping, Lamar. <laughs> Drop all the way to the end of the first round. Just, uh, you know, doing a quick little run through. But yeah, this draft class is pretty crazy. There are a few positions, a few players we really like. So, you know, getting more value from our picks and making it easier to obtain picks seems like a no-brainer. We want to do a lot of maneuvering in this upcoming draft, but that is still a couple of weeks away and a couple of videos away. Today, we have to deal with the Detroit Lions. Let's see if we can't get it done. And do we even want to? Do we want to win this game or do we want to continue preparing for the draft? Actually, before we hop in, let's go ahead and actually take a look at standing. See where we uh sit in terms of... uh. That's not the right thing. In terms of getting a really good first round pick, let's see what we're uh, looking like. Can I, I? I pressed the X. I didn't press the X button. I pressed Y. That's what happened. So Eagles are thirteen and one. 
we are currently three and something, three and 11. We have the number one pick right now. So it might behoove us to continue losing so we can keep that pick. Actually, do we even want number one? Actually, yeah, we do want number one overall because we do a lot trading down with number one. We absolutely want number one. So we, whatever. Well, if we lose the game, cool. If we don't, whatever. But it, it might make a little bit of sense for us to lose this game. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can actually, you know, lean into that a little bit, maybe. Hmm. I was, I was going to make a Sam Darnold joke and put make him the starter, but Sam Darnold's still in the IR in game, so... But with all that being said, we are now finally ready to hop on in to the game. All Let's right. go. Home game against Detroit. See the big man, Coach Ackerson, getting ready walking out to a roaring ovation back in mayfield looking okay i mean he's he's just like he's playing some football he's playing some football got the goofball on the other side how's he doing how's he looking guess we'll never know deandre swift i think that's alex anzalone jeff Okuda, some other guys in there guess we don't get to see the goofball's numbers get the helicopter fly over though all right oh man Look at that squad. Look at this squad of elite talent. And now we can finally get to the kickoff. Probably should have just skipped that, but did it. Either way, it kicks off and it's back for Bo Melton to return. It's, a, you know, about back to where it normally would be. About the 23, a couple yards short. So not a bad return, per se. If we're going to lead the offense out to the field. About 3,500, a little over 3,500 yards. 19 tugs, 14 interceptions. Obviously not a great number of interceptions. Not what you like to see, but you know, he's doing all right otherwise, I guess. <laughs> First and 10, he's gonna drop back, look for his guy, find Tommy Trimble. Decent little game there. Good start. Trimble coming off a pretty solid game last week. Third and five now after an incompletion, I assume, or a short run that got stuffed. You never really know. They pulled back to pass. Gonna hit DJ Moore over the middle. Picking up the first down, you love to see it. Way to move the chains. Third and 10 now. Mayfield working out a shotgun. Gets just absolutely screamed at Amani or a warrior on the nickel blitz, gets the sack as well as one of the Lions defensive line there. Getting the other half. So yeah, big. Big play from the Lions defense to come up and uh, just make our life miserable. Looks like Aiden Hutchinson will get credit for the other half a sack there. Number two overall pick. Or maybe they give it to the on Levi and Luzerike. Maybe have been who that was. 54, whoever that was diving at it. Either way, one of those guys got half a sack as well as a money or a warrior. Good God, Jerichoff's numbers are insane. 285, yeah, 3,700 yards, 33 touchdowns, 14 picks. Um... Still a lot of interceptions, but he has the same amount as Baker and 14 more touchdowns, so... I don't know, you tell me who's having a worse season or better season. Goff, Goff is having a pretty good year. Not a great year. Either way, big sack. The football comes out, but it's going to be picked up by the Detroit offensive lineman. And, you know, nothing doing there, but a huge play. The first uh, defensive snap of the game for the squad. Who was it that got in there? Um, can't really tell. It looks like Brian Burns got in there. It looks like... Uh, Matt Ioannidis also got in there. Henry Anderson, maybe. Of course, no Derek Brown this week. That's right. DeAndre Swift now on second and 23. Going to get a lot of that back because, well, we don't exactly uh, defend the run very well, no, do we? Third and 10 now for Goff. He's going to drop back. Hit Swift, but drops it. But there's a flag on the field. What's that going to be for? Going to be a hold. So uh, we're just going to, you know, let that be fourth and ten and get the ball back. Not a bad defensive uh, drive at all from the team. Big play on first down to get the sack and could have been a fumble recovery, but yeah, we, we didn't want it that bad. We didn't want it bad enough, I guess. <laughs> now I'm going to let the uh, punt drop for some reason and it's gonna they're going to down us inside the ten at the six-yard line. Great punt from Jack Fox, one of the best punters in the league. Superstar punter Jack Fox. <laughs> Second and six now, Mayfield gonna hand off to Hubbard. Gets absolutely stuffed at the line. Gonna bring up third and five now. Needing to convert from our own 11 yard line. 
Mayfield back to pass. That's DJ Moore. Easy completion. First down. Good route. Good find. Mayfield now on second and eight. That's DJ Moore again. Breaks a tackle and he has a lot of open field ahead of him. And he's off to the races. Only, you know, guy that could possibly make the play is a war warrior. And he's just not going to be able to catch him. DJ Moore breaks a tackle and just takes it to the house. What a play. No one could catch him. He just got lucky, broke the ta broke the uh, tackle from whoever 23 is, and yeah, just throws him off, and he was gone. No one's catching DJ Moore on that. 60 plus yards after contact. Huge play. Massive play from the best player on our team. One of them for sure. Massive, massive play from DJ Moore, putting us on the board first. Man in motion now from second to four for the Lions. Ball goes to Swift on the handoff. He runs up the middle and gets, you know, a lot view and then uh picks up the first down as well big play from deandre swift it's gonna be a pain to try to stop him because like i said we don't do that whole run defense thing it's not really our style off back to pass now on third and four again gonna complete this one to eric ebron over the middle for the first down once again eric ebron back in detroit something that i don't think will ever happen but you never know Wait, is he actually back on detroit i don't know where is eric ebron playing these days either way huge play from cj henderson on third down to, uh to you know stop he just, uh, DeAndre Swift short and bring up fourth down once again. Where is Eric Ebron playing these days? Is Eric Ebron even in the league this year? He's currently, yeah, he's currently a free agent, so he's not on the roster, but he's here now. Either way, that field goal try from about midfield is going to be short. Did not have the leg, had the accuracy, just didn't have the leg to get it there. Mayfield now on second and seven. That's a lot of time. Gonna try DJ Moore again deep down the field. Had it just out of reach though. DJ Moore ends up beating Orowari on that again. Just barely overthrown by Mayfield. Just couldn't quite get underneath it. Good luck. Good pass lead, honestly. Just wasn't quite able to connect on it. Mayfield back to pass on 37. Gonna find LaVisca should not. And he's gonna pick up the first down. Mayfield, pretty good start. 5 and 9, 108. Has a touchdown already. Of course, a lot of those yards to DJ Moore after contact, so. He has receivers doing most of the work for him, but hey, we'll take it. Good run to the outside there by Chuba Hubbard that time, picking up seven on first down. Gonna bring up a much more manageable second and three. See if we can't poke this across the line and get a first down again. Hubbard up the middle on the zone, inside zone. Got it. Nice first down pick up there. Second and 10 after an incompletion. Now Mayfield back the pass. As DJ Moore on the slant. Going to be just short of the line to gain. Going to bring up third down and three. Nope, two. Inside the red zone now as well. Threatening another score. We're going to go up by a... I'm going to make this a two possession game. Going to hand off to Chuba Hubbard once again. And that should be enough for a first down. And it is. Big plays from the squad there. If they're not going to work out a shotgun. It's Tommy Trimble on the seam and got him. Finds him in stride. Touch down Panthers. The Lions just leaving the seam uncovered. Bayfield notices it. Puts Trimble on the uh, vert route and uh, he goes up and gets it. Good play. Good ball. Dropped it right in the bucket. Didn't even need to look at it. He just knew where the ball was going to be. That's just how good Tommy Trimble is, man. He just knew. The ball was going to land right in his hands because he has that much trust in his quarterback. <laughs> oh, this game's weird. Goff is going to throw up a duck and just end up, ends up being into triple coverage. That was a very questionable throw. Luckily, that wasn't intercepted. Lucky for him, rather. <laughs> Goff now in third and ten has all day. Brian Burns time going to run out, though, as the big, huge defensive end gets in there and makes the play. Fantastic job by the DBs on the coverage there. Had to cover for a long time, but Brian Burns finally managed to get it in there and make the sack. Make the sack. Get the sack. Whatever. <laughs> They're going to check down to Hubbard there on first down. He's going to go through a defender and pick up the first. First and 10 again. They feel it has DJ Moore wide open on the sideline. Just could not keep his feet in bounds. Need to get that ball out a little sooner. Get it? Because he's a he went to Oklahoma. No, okay. 
<laughs> they put off play action now. You gonna try DJ Moore again? That pass is gonna be intercepted. That just was not a good decision. 26, I believe this Ifiatu Melifonwu on the interception, and it is. Second year player out of Syracuse, I wanna say. Either way, big play. Second and 10 now for the Lions taking over. Gonna be a screen to Swift. Huge play by Henry Anderson getting out in space and making the play. That could have been bad, but big defensive tackle Henry Anderson keeping up with uh, running back DeAndre Swift. It's a video game, people. Dolph once again has all damn day in the pocket. Just no pressure gets in. And then the receiver, just Amon Ross St. Brown, just running back to the ball. Dolph just throws it up and manages to find it. That is a... Uh, yeah, that can't happen. We got to have better... Uh, we got to get better pressure on plays like that. Literally 10, 15 seconds of time to throw. Cannot have that. 33 now. Going to be a flag on the play. Looks to be a false start by the Lions. And that's going to move them back five yards. Make this a little bit more difficult of a third down. Still manageable, though, at third and eight. Dolph working out a shotgun. Has two receivers to each side, I believe. Definitely. Yeah, yeah two receivers to each side. Running back in the backfield, and he's just gonna, well, throw it to the sideline because he's Jared Goff. Gonna go for another field goal here. Look to get some points on the board. Is Detroit kick is up and is good. Could not tell you who their kicker is. I'm sure I went over the roster pregame. If I didn't, oh well. <laughs> Third and 10 now, taking over. Gonna throw it up to Trimble. He's just left wide open and he's able to grab it before the safety can make a play on the ball. Big find there on third down. Kicker is, uh, it's not Matt Brader. Michael Badgley, maybe? That's just what I'm getting from Google. They <laughs> feel gonna find LaVisca just short of the first down marker there. Pickfield has a long time to throw, finds DJ Moore. Eventually runs open and good find there. They've been having a decent game in terms of yards, not a great game in terms of completion percentage, but it really never will be because I don't know. I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> if we're gonna hit LaVisca there, pick up another decent chunk of yards, bring up a very manageable second and two from the four yard line, even. I think I put DJ Moore on a, on a fade here. I did, and boom, got it. DJ Moore left one on one on an island, and DJ is gonna win that more often than not. He's uh, a definite beast down in the red zone, and yeah, just just makes that look easy. Defender didn't even have time to react. This Mike use on coverage, and yeah, that's just a mismatch. DJ Moore quicker, faster, stronger. Mayfield, good ball, touchdown, and. Uh, yeah, that happened. Eddie Pinheiro, uh, a little bit of a whip there. We don't talk about it. <laughs> Got back to pass, finds him on Ross St. Brown. Just absolutely torching CJ Henderson. That, that tends to happen a decent amount with CJ. He gets torched a lot from time to time. Got back to pass again, finds Ebron on the out. That's gonna bring up fourth and one. And they'll punt from midfield down by three scores fourth and one that's a punt situation <laughs> and that's gonna bounce into the end zone but just barely that was almost a phenomenal punt by fox first and 10 now 30 seconds to go we have time to you know maybe move the ball a little bit because it points up on the board they feel gonna find dj moore picking up a big first down huge chunky yards gonna call timeout we're gonna try to get into field goal range if we can Mayfield now finds Terrace Marshall up the middle of the field. Another big first down. We just need a few more yards to get ourselves into field goal range. Can we find someone here? Let's see. Mayfield gonna go for DJ Moore. That's knocked away. Still 13 seconds to go, so we have another you know shot to get in range. Lions are gonna play prevent, so we're just gonna you know hand off to Trevor Hubbard and take the yards, and that gets us definitely into field goal range. Gonna be a 52 yarder for Eddie. 
This is a very makeable field goal. Although he did just miss an extra point, so let's see if we can nail this. And based on the wind and how we missed it, we probably are good. No, we're not. Just, just to the right. So, very good job by the team to get in the field goal range, and then Eddie Pinheiro just once again shanks it. Uh, yeah, back-to-back -back missed kicks, so maybe we uh, stop trying to kick it. I don't know. Detroit now into the second half. Goff gonna hit DeAndre Swift on the check down. Decent pick up there. Second and eight now for the Lions. Hand off to Brandon, uh, DeAndre Swift. Met by Brandon Smith in the gap. Fourth and five now. Not really sure what happened in between there, but Jack Fox on the punt once again. And that one's gonna, you know, once again drop and be a beaut. Pitting us inside the five at the four. Jack Fox having a uh, one heck of a game. Not something you uh, really want to have happen too often is the enemy, not the enemy, the uh, opposing team punter um really controlling the game and he kind of is i mean we're we're doing well to get points on the board but we're not getting great field positioning i don't know jack fox is pretty good either way lavisca is uncovered there so we'll just hit him quickly and pick up another first down good job by mayfield to see the open guy and hit him that's one thing i've noticed about the madden cpu is they rarely cover just verts up the up the seam like, if there's no one there, if there's, like, not someone... If they're not in man coverage, that's going to be open every single time. The divert on the scene. Just every single time. DJ Moore on the cross. Going to pick up that last first down. Now Mayfield working off a of play action. Has LaVisca on a very similar concept and hits him. In stride. First down again. Mayfield moving the ball phenomenally here in the second half so far. Had one on one on the sideline, decided not to take it, but still fits the ball in a window. What a beautiful throw. What a grab by DJ Moore. And is that his third touchdown of the game? It's definitely at least his second. That might be three touchdowns on the game for DJ Moore. What a freaking throw by Mayfield. Just absolutely dots it. Whoa, what a ball. That's not something we see every day. At least not, at least not a lot recently. That was a beautiful throw. Great grab by DJ Moore, and good job, you know, fighting through contact to get into the end zone once again. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> oh, Eddie. Eddie Pinheiro misses another one. It's, uh, two straight extra points and a field goal missed. So, uh, huh. yeah, is that on me? Is that on the game? Is that on Eddie Pinheiro? Who does? Mostly me. Let's be real. Goff gonna find St. Brown once again. Seems to be his favorite target tonight, when he usually is in uh, real life as well. Monrai, a great player. Goff gonna find a Swift on the sideline check down on third and six, uh, or third and eight, and only gonna pick up a couple. That's gonna bring up fourth and six. Jack Fox out once again to try to pin us very deep for the third time this game. And he's thankfully gonna shank this one. Only about 20 yards of... Uh, 20 yards gain there, net, I guess. Whatever. Not a good point. Let's just go with that. Mayfield rolling out, nothing there. Um, the one was open, tried to roll out. I don't know. Wait, no, PJ Walker's in the game. I remember subbing him in. I guess I didn't show it, but yeah, we we're gonna I just go with PJ Walker for the rest of this game. Up 26 to 3. Late in the third. Gosson playing terribly. Let's let PJ Walker, you know, get out there and show what he can do. Obviously, he started some games for the Panthers in real life, but we just haven't been able to find, you know, a way to get him on the field, because in-game, he's just he's just not as good of a player as Baker. Like, straight up in-game, he's just not. But, doing some good things here, finding DJ Moore. Pick up the first down there. Walker now. Gonna hit, uh, who was that? That was, uh, Bo Melton. Now into the game. Gets a yard. So we're trying to get some of our other players some PT here. I believe I took DJ Moore out of the game as well. This game is entered blowout territory, so we're just trying to, you know, see what we got in some of these other guys. Just let them get on the field. Tommy Trimble going to catch the uh, nice little sit-down route and break a couple tackles and pick up a huge gain. Ends up with the first down and more. And off now to Hubbard. Going to work that back up the middle and pick up a nice gain. And I believe going to tack on a little, you know, a few more at the end. I don't know, maybe, maybe 15 for that face mask. Just kidding. Somehow that was a hold. Freddie Christensen. 
committing the uh, penalty there. Although that was also definitely a face mask on that. Probably should have been a uh, counteracting penalties, but hey, I guess I don't do that, Madden. Marshall on the slant, gonna pick up a l get a lot of that back though. Now third and four. Walker gonna work out a shotgun. And just hand it off to uh, Chuba Hubbard on the inside zone, and he's gonna pick up three, gonna be just short of the first down. Gonna bring up fourth and one now inside the fourth quarter. We can, be, we can you know, we can afford to be a little bit aggressive here, try to pick up the first down, and you know, really, really in the game as if it wasn't already kind of out of reach. Head off to Hubbard once again, and we're gonna pick up the first. It keeps the clock moving, keeps us on the field, keeps us, you know, threatening to score. All of that is very valuable. Gonna hand off to Hubbard once again. Picks up six on first down that time. We're not entirely in true clock mode, but we can, you know, afford to slow the game down a little bit. Walker on third and five, gonna hit Marshall over the middle for another first down. Third and four now from the five yard line. Walker gonna send Hubbard in motion. Back has a long time and just throws it up into the end zone and that's gonna be picked off by Jeff Okuda. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting decision there. Nothing really got open, just decided to try Terrace and yeah, it ended up, uh, ended up, in a, you know, going the other way. Think of going the other way. Now Goff, back to pass on second and five. This time gonna hit Swift inbounds and pick up the first down on the sideline. First and ten once again. Off back to pass. Finds this guy over the middle. That's Josh Riddles picking up the uh, nice chunk of yards. Second and one. Off quick throw to Ebron. First down. Just under three minutes now. Ball still in the Lions possession. Goff. Once again, all day to throw. Hits its man directly in the hands, and uh, I believe we call that a brick. I don't know. That was could not have been much easier of a catch, and just could not reel it in. I believe that was the Monroe St. Brown on the drop. Swift up the middle, first down on fourth and three. Just outside of the two-minute warning now. Swift gonna get another carry. Huge hit. Xavier Woods and the ball is going to be recovered by the Panthers. Corey Littleton grabs it. Massive hit by Xavier Woods to poke the ball out there. And we will take over with just under a minute to go. Third and five now. First down ends the game. Walker drops back. Nothing open. Tried to pick up the first down to end it. And the ball ends up hitting Austin Corbett in the back. The Lions will get the ball back with a minute to go. Off back to pass. Once again, has forever in a day. Just going to throw it up into double coverage and somehow complete it and that's gonna be a touchdown to who are you no idea who that is <laughs> either way absolutely bitched our secondary there that's not what you like to see so uh yeah Detroit gonna come out and go for two Now finally gets brought down. Finally time runs out. Xavier Woods on the sack. And now, under a minute to play. Hand off to Deontay Foreman. First down. That's going to be a game. So we're going to walk out of here with a 26-9 win. One more handoff to Foreman. Just try to get him some, you know, some more carries on the year. He's going to finish with 3 for 17. But hey, a nice win. Obviously, you know, we are... Not exactly trying to win games at this point in the season, but we'll take them where we can get them. Lions just did not show up more than us, and uh, yeah, kind of got smashed on the day. But very good effort from the squad. DJ Moore is an absolute beast. Brian Burns had a sack. Um, yeah, I mean, we played very well as a team. Offense was clicking for the most part. Defense didn't really get as much pressure as I would like because there were... Many a time where Goff should have gotten brought down that he just never did. But overall, great game from the team. Can't be too upset with uh, how things ended up going there. We can go ahead and check out some stats. Mayfield finishes 19 of 32 with four touchdowns and an interception. Goff, 21 of 35, 230 and a touchdown. PJ Walker came in. It played pretty well. Hubbard, 17 for 63. Swift, 11 for 50. Deontay Foreman, 3 for 17. 
receiving whoa you guys saw that didn't you dj moore 11 catches for 217 yards and three touchdowns oh my god laviska five for 56 tommy trimble four for 66 on a touchdown oh melton harris marshall in there with uh three for 32 and then one for 13 for chuba hubbard didn't uh, give up a sack brandon smith led the team with 10 tackles two tackles for loss for cj henderson uh, sacks for Matt Ioannidis and Brian Burns. No interceptions. And yeah, like I said, great, great showing from the team. Huge week. Huge week from DJ Moore. 200 yards receiving, three tugs. Just a massive game. And he's going to have an upgrade point here, as he very well should. I believe we're just going to go into Playmaker here. Maybe Deep Threat. Try to get that Deep route running up a little bit. Couldn't be a bad idea. We decide, do decide to go into Playmaker. That's going to get him up to an 80 overall. We get a bunch of upgrades there. Plus two awareness, break tackle, plus one vision, uh, catch and traffic, juke move, medium route, spec catch, and spin move. Very solid set of upgrades. DJ Moore continuing to prove he is one of the best young receivers in the league. And not even, maybe not even best young, maybe just best receivers in the league. So we'll go ahead and advance to the next week. We'll be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in our second to last game of the year. And would you look at this at the very end? We have a breakout challenge for next week. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. Catch all then. Peace.